in the late 1980s, I was in a used record store in Santa Cruz, California, in Northern California, a few miles from where I grew up. And I looked and I was looking in the CD bin and I saw a band called Earth. I thought, Earth? Who's that? And I pulled the CD out and it said Heart. And I've told you I'm dyslexic and I'm looking at that and thinking, how did I mistake Earth for Heart? And when I started playing out the letters in my head, I grabbed the pad of paper that I always had in my back pocket, a little pad, and I scribbled down these letters. Listening to a little voice that said, there's something here. There's something here. How could these two words be connected like that? I started imagining what could possibly be waiting if I follow this up. Wondering what I'd find. And it just kept repeating. Come on. Is that even possible? But when you make discoveries, you get this warm feeling inside. And it all begins with wondering, with not taking things for granted, with looking beyond what's right in front of you. And sometimes mistakes lead you somewhere that you'd never find before if you only listen. You can hear the art in life all around you. Hear the art in the circumstances that surround you. You can hear the art all around you. If you only wonder and imagine and listen, connect, look at this. How can this be? And we get down to it. Isn't that cool? And you know, this could never have happened without Illustrator. I mean, I did it on paper, but drawing this out, working on these layers, using typography and color, wouldn't that be cool to learn how to do that? You know, if you pay attention, you can hear the art too, and you can make it. <laughs>